what we do is we start with the probe off the back of the ribs and then we slide cranially and what we look for is curtain sign. So curtain sign is this here where the actual lung is coming into view and what happens is it blocks out anything below it. So this is actually gastrointestinal tract, so stomach, probably with the liver and the curtain of the lung is actually sliding across. So that's curtain sign. What you do is you go across two more ribs and you look for glide sign. So glide sign tells us that the lungs are adhered to the chest wall. And to make things easy, what we do is we can tilt it at an angle and it can really sometimes highlight that movement or trickle of, of, of movement. So after we found glide sign, what we look for is A lines or B lines. So B lines are vertical bright lines originating from the pleural interface. And we don't have any bright lines coming down here, so what we look for instead is we're looking for A lines. And we have an A line here, an A line there. There's a nice A line there. So we have an A line. So A line is a reverberation of this lung chest wall interface. And essentially the ultrasound beam can't see beyond that um, interface because it can't see through air. So it just reverberates what it sees, it duplicates what it sees. So what we, and that shows up on the ultrasound screen as these bright lines. So these are A lines indicating that there's air in that particular area of lung. So that's dry lung. And we know that that's not a pneumothorax because we have lung adhered to the chest wall because we have glide sign. So we have A lines, so the dorsal caudal fields are dry. Then we go down in reverse Nike tick fashion and down over the perihilar region. And again, we have dry lungs here, we have A lines. Okay. Then we go down further towards cranial ventrally and we're going to go over the heart soon, but we're now in the ventral lung fields. And what we have here is A lines again. There is some movement or what appears to be sort of B lines there, but the B lines will obliterate the A lines and they will go straight through to the other end of the field. And what we find here is kind of tapering, so that's not an A line. That's, so that's not a B line. So then we have the heart there, which is not common to see the heart beating. So that's the bottom of the Nike tick. We fan around here looking for any particular lung that we can find. This is the most ventral aspect of the lung fields. And we have A lines again, which shows us that there's dry lung. We have glide again, which tells us the lungs adhere to the chest wall at that point. And then we go up under the armpit, again looking for lung and what we have here is A lines again. So, and we also have some glide, a small amount of glide in that particular area as well. So we have dry lung with lung adhered to the chest wall. So like a reverse Nike tick and across.